Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma, and happy Monday. It's Memorial Day. Thank you for uh, tuning in to my YouTube channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, for this morning. We thank you, Lord, the celebration for the celebration of Memorial Day, Lord, and it's a day to honor those or pay uh, tribute to families and friends, Lord, that have served this country. Lord, we ask for your, uh, your prayers of safety today. As many are moving about, um, having uh, cookouts and barbecues with their families, oh God. So we ask for safety there and travel, Lord. Some will, will travel near and some will travel far, but nonetheless, they'll be moving about. And Lord, always we ask that you would remember our lineage, our children, from the adults down to the babies, Lord, and the situations, Father, that are present this day, Lord, um, the Ovalde, Texas, uh, circumstances, Lord, Buffalo, New York, and Father, as we know, um, the war in Ukraine. Continue to bless us, Lord, to hold together, to remember, to take time to pray, and to just ask for your leading and guidance in all things in our lives. Heal our land, O oh God, but most of all, heal our hearts, Lord, from the inside out. We thank you, Lord, for this morning of prayer and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading today for Monday, May 30th, is entitled, A Great Army of Women. The Lord announces the word, and the women who proclaim it are a mighty throng. Psalm 68, verse 11. I find it fascinating that I can read over a section of scripture time and time again. And then suddenly, one time, the words jump out at me. Today's text is an example. I have been reading a one-year edition of the New Living Translation that has an Old Testament and New Testament portion, a psalm, and a verse or two from Proverbs. On March the 25th, I read Psalm 68 and one line read, and a great army brings the good news. Of course, I had to look up the footnote. It said, or a host of women. Wow, I thought. I don't remember reading that before. I had better check some other versions. I found that four of the most respected translations all say women, as do some other lesser known versions. Yet another version has women in the footnote, and two others just say a company or a host in the footnote. I have been picturing what could happen if a host, a company, or an army of women went forth to tell anything but especially the Word of God. I remember Rose Otis, the four-sided woman who started this devotional book series telling a little joke. If you wanted news to get out, you could phone or you could tell a woman. That is a truth that can be put to use, put to use in, the te in telling the world about Jesus. Psalm 68 is a Psalm of David, imploring God to save his people. David praises God for being a God who is the father of the fatherless and a defender of widows. Besides that, he cares for the lonely by putting them in families, and he sets the prisoners free, free from all the things that bind, as Jesus told his audience in Nazareth in Luke chapter 4. David then praises God for leading Israel through the desert on the way to the promised land. He does it with might and physical demonstrations, and then they settle in peace in the land provided for them. He gives his word, and the women go forth to proclaim it, even getting the plunder when the enemies are defeated. So it is for us. We face an enemy 
but we serve a mighty God, a God who has, does, who has, does, and will win. A God who cares for his people, yes, his women. It is then up to the mighty multitude of women to go to proclaim it. Amen. Our reading today was written by artist Dick Steinbecken. Abba Father, we thank you for this reading of encouragement, Lord, to the women, Lord, but to all of us, Father. And we thank you, Lord, for those that are willing to go forth and to be and to be fearless, Lord, in your name. We thank you for the blessings that we can be to our community uh, around us and our community at large. Father, we thank you, Lord, for leading and guiding us, Lord, and keeping us, Lord, and once again, ordering our steps. Lord, and as you order our steps, we thank you, Lord, for the obedient spirit that follows, Lord, that we might go forth in what is our responsibility, Lord, in sharing you with the world, that we, as we put our hand to the plow, we would be faithful and faint not. So thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, truly, Lord, for this encouraging word this morning that reminds us to go forth as a great army, Lord, and Father, that includes us. And Father, by your grace, at times we're at the forefront. Thank you, Lord, for the women that go forth in your name. Blessings and healing to all of our land. Amen. So thank you this morning, family, for uh, tuning in and listening to my YouTube channel this morning. Have a blessed day in all of your family situations, your travels, wherever you are. Enjoy the day and be blessed. Happiest Monday, one and all to everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Miss Norma sending that song in. I'm signing off. By his grace, I'll see you on tomorrow. Amen.